Hello, I'm cowboy bootmaker Lisa Sorrell, and today I'm going to talk about using hot glue in bespoke cowboy boots. I hope you're as horrified by the idea of that as I was initially, because it sounds like a terrible idea. But I'm going to show you one instance where it actually works really well. Here I have this steel shank for this cowboy boot. It's been shaped and hammered into place to where it fits the curve of the arch. And now I need to fit it into the boot. Now the way I was taught was to use contact cement and glue this piece of metal right here and then glue this shank cover on top of it. That doesn't work really well because you, there's no cement that's really going to stick metal to leather. And also contact cement takes 20 minutes to dry. So what I was doing is I was putting contact cement on these surfaces, waiting 20 minutes, sticking it together, and then it didn't even stick well. I couldn't expect it to stick well, but I had to wait 20 minutes to achieve not sticking well. So a friend of mine mentioned hot glue as an option here. Oh, and by the way, I have to mention that since then I've also begun lacing in the shanks, which works very well. A friend of mine mentioned using hot glue here. And at first I was horrified by the idea of putting hot glue in my boots, but then I realized that it's actually a pretty good idea because all I want to do in this instance is stick the shank into place to where it will hold. Next I'm going to put a layer of leather over it. I'm going to hot glue that into place. And those are just to hold everything together. The real thing that holds it securely throughout the life of the boot is being laced into place. But now, since I've hot glued the shank here and this over it, now I don't have any worries about contact cement not sticking to metal. I've completely covered my metal and I know everything's going to stay into place. I'm going to start by hot gluing the shank into place. There we go. Now I'm going to put this cover over it. And now my steel shank is completely covered. Anything that I need to glue down is going to be glued to leather, not steel. What I'm doing here is using the edges of my stitches, I stitched the boot to the insole and the edges of those stitches are still visible. So I'm tying into the edges of those stitches and lacing the shank area. And this will hold it securely. So now instead of relying on glue and a really inferior bond between steel and leather, now I'm relying on this nice tight stitching to hold that steel shank securely into place.
and here we have a steel shank that is laced securely and tightly where it needs to be. I don't have to worry that this shank is going to break free or move at all. It's held into place and because it has leather over it, when I put the shank cover on, it's going to stick tightly also. Thank you. See you next week.